Uh, Mike Southgate from Burton Bradstock. I've been involved in our parish council for some years, and I wonder, in your, the unitary form of government, does much more effective power flow down, particularly to the, the rural parish councils, the village parish councils? I'm thinking at the moment we seem to be just responsible for were things like the local graveyard, the children's playground, etc., cleaning the odd. <laughs> but uh, and in terms of planning, uh, for example, the, the rural parish councils seem to have very little power at all. And in the unitary authority, does more effective power flow down? Um, to be honest, no, I think. Um, <coughs> I think the parish council is really in the town council. This is where this area ball would probably be a would be a better vehicle because there is some money that would be available for them to um, to maybe do some, some things. I mean, somewhere like Burton Brasler, to be honest, is is the smaller, the very small end of of democracy. Mm. I mean, I think there would be an opportunity certainly for the towns, Bridport, Dorchester. To have more powers, and they would be could be encouraged to take um, to take more powers. I mean, Mr. Oliver there was talking about uh, pre-1974. He looks about as grey as I am, and I vote pre-1974. Whereas Dorset had about 50 councils. You had a Dorchester Urban this Borough Council. You had Dorchester Rural District Council, but none of them had really any powers because anything to do with planning would have to go up to the to the county. So really, all I would say with unitary is there is more possibility that the, the town council would, would be delegated more powers if they wanted them. And that's the problem. They wouldn't get planning, I don't think, even they may have more powers on other things. But one of the points here is that that could be something that we should propose. I mean, my own view is that you know, our town councillors do a whole lot more sensitive job about brick walls than people here, but who knows?